All right, so I'm nervous because we're gonna try to start it. It's hot wired up. I'm inside the cab. My brother is out there hooking everything up right now. And hopefully it does not catch on fire, spark, but it needs a combustion. I'm really nervous. Bug. Huh. Do it again? Yeah. Now it ain't going. Okay, hold on. Oof. My heart's racing. Ground terminal not laid up right now. No, just try it now. Just try it. Just be careful. Ready? That happened. Uh, the Pump it too. Every time I do that, I get less and less nervous, but you can hear my voice, so I'm still a little bit nervous. That's something. If you can't hear my brother, he just said it might not be getting spark, which was the main problem. So the hot wire might not be working or not. Who knows?
Nervio, so <laughs> whenever I turned the key, the, the, the darn sticks started to go back and forth, and the whole truck was shaking. Everything in here was shaking, even the American flag I've hanging up. That y'all didn't see that. I don't think it. Boom. Oh, yeah, and the cross. I know this isn't a good of an angle, but still, it's the best I could give because I don't trust my phone out there. I am shaking, if you can't tell. Damn. Well, he's gonna go and grab the tester. I tried to explain it in hillbilly language. So, we have negative wire, which negative wire leads from there to the frame, obviously. From the starter to the frame, all right? And then, we have the hot wire, which goes from the starter over here, here, goes over here, and is connected to the positive. That's there, because I don't know why. But I haven't made a video yet, but that wire is toasted a little bit. Maybe a little bit too much, actually. Carb cleaner went down. Still didn't fire. Might not be getting spark. I pumped it. I should have shown me pumping it, but it did not light, it did not fire. Oh yeah, by the way, we have this little itty bitty thing right here. That's not even the size of the cleaner, the air cleaner. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Everything on the inside of the truck is the same, but still. It ain't starting. Maybe the plug wires are bad. Maybe not. I have no clue. <laughs> Might be that because it sat for six years. But who knows. Thing we need to happen is get it to run. 
Uh, at least start. It is? Yeah. No, no. How is it not starting? Now? Somewhere metal. You want to crank your over, and if there's spark coming out of it, then we know that's good and it's a fuel issue. If fuel? You have spark, that means it's a fuel issue. If it's a fuel issue, then it should have fired when I put the carb thing in. Park, if Unless it's. the carburetor is going bad. They had put a new carburetor in it, though. And? I mean, it could still be going bad because I haven't ran in a while, but. So if it's not spark, what you need for it to run is air. You got air. Mm -hmm. Spark. You need how, how how do people put it? Suck, bang, boom. Suck, bang, boom. <laughs> it needs to suck in there. It needs to bang. Then you got exhaust. Suck, bang, boom. I don't think that's it. Suck, suck spark, boom. Ah. Oh. Let me guess, the boom is the it... thing an engine needs to run is power, fuel, and air. Power, fuel, and air. Combustion, that's fire. Oh, yeah. And if anything, the engine could be out of time. We can, we can, I can mess the timing. Didn't you have that problem with your car? No. No? I thought you had to adjust the timing. All cars you do, all the time. What about this? But this, this is, um, not carbureted. The distributor right there, so all I gotta undo, I gotta loosen that bolt and just turn the cap a bit until the engine's coming. <laughs> And if it sparks, that's a good thing. Then it's an oil issue, uh, fuel issue. Yeah. If it's a fuel issue, it's pr oil pump, yeah. not oil pump, fuel pump. Oh. Uh, it, it shouldn't. Should yeah. Some things make sense and others don't. That's the best way to put it. Just 
try it. Do it again. Yeah, but it might shut off afterwards. So, this is a 40-year-old truck, all right? It is pretty old. It's... I don't even know. My dad's older than it. By a while. By a long shot, actually. By about a decade. If I'm correct, the carburetor should be right, right about there. Under. For some reason, the ground's a hot wire. Huh? Come here. It sparks, but that's sparking a lot. Do you still want to do it? Yeah. Really? What? I might cook it. Cook it jump like a... Jump pack will scream. Don't worry. Yeah, but then wouldn't the jump pack blow up? It might, it might not. What? Get over at that jump pack before I do. Okay. Try it? Yeah. Still not going? Can we get those at Walmart? What you? If we're lucky, they are still in Huntington. Yeah, because Napa's closed already. Hmm. I think it might be a plug issue. The plug wires are definitely. So you're so I'm telling you to probably get wires, spark plug wires. Well, if it's a sparking issue, then why does the negative have power? Well, I think it needs spark plug wires. Oil got power. And I can't get the spark with the first one. See, that's the issue. Ground is the spark plug. There was no spark. I couldn't see any spark. 
Did you pull this spark plug out of the truck? Nah, that one's not right. Hey, yay. Yeah, yeah. Those ones won't work. And plus, those ones are, I'm pretty sure, junk, my brother said. So, yeah. I also put the camera there just in case if I see a flame coming out of the carburetor, I can easily shut it off and my brother and me can do mess with it basically. Yeah. That's why this is very useful because the carburetor is right, I'd say about where my finger is. It seems a little bit there. Right where my finger is. Pretty sure it's right here. That's why I always have the camera like this. Or like this. Either way, if I can see it, just to turn it off. Who was it? It might start. It might not. To each. If I don't see spark, then you wire. Because that coil will get the power. That noise. Try it. Try it? Yeah. Oh. None of them. Huh. Try it. Try it. You're not getting spark. Oh. Why are the kids supposed not to get the spark? Well, if they're not getting spark, I doubt the other ones are. Well. All right. So, four out of six spark plugs are not getting spark. That's an issue. I'm gonna try one of the Mustang plugs. All right. One of my spark wires? No, Dan's. I swear if this makes it run, it's gonna be a miracle. Not just me. Imagine the whole reason of this truck not running for six years was because of spark wires. That would be hilarious. Yeah. 
very crunchy. If the coil is getting power, wouldn't that mean everything else should be getting power? Should, the plugs and stuff should be firing. Maybe there's a short somewhere. We're forcing power to it. Maybe the plugs are bad or... Spark plugs might be bad. They'd still try to fire. They don't make that much of sense. That's getting power because I tested it. Scooch. Ground? Okay, yeah. I didn't do anything wrong. The ground's not getting power. That is. Hmm. Bug wires and plugs is the only thing I can think of. But that is one hot coil. Maybe it's the coil? No, that's a brand new coil. I put that coil on there. It's brand new. I mean, it could be bad out of the box. It could have been a bad out of the box coil. If it don't fire with brand new plugs and plug wires, then try another coil. If that don't work, if that don't work. I don't know what's wrong. Unless this ignition module here was bad on the inside. That would be bad. That would stop it from running. But right. I put a brand new one in there too. And this is cheaper than buying a new coil. Hmm. So it's not... It might be the ignition module causing it too. But we were getting the spark to the plugs, and I would assume that that going bad. If I don't know a whole lot about them, but if this is bad, it's probably not sending any any power to those plugs. <laughs> so let's just see if new spark plugs and wires work, and if it does, that's a good it thing. Was it might be the ignition launcher. 
this battery is going to be Because I'm going to need it tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not gonna make you carry this back out, but it will have to go back. <laughs> Don't do that again. You're gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get one of those for this thing. Oh, if it's hissing, don't it might be the ignition module. Where's the ignition module at? Inside the distributor. Oh. Yeah, but if the coil is bad. The coil was getting power. So that's cheaper, so that's why I'm thinking that one first. Whatever can make it run. I don't know how much everything is going to be, but it's worth a shot. Hey, you were spraying that stuff inside the carburetor. It still wasn't firing. And it wasn't getting sparked. Maybe it's the plug wires or the spark plugs. I'm thinking it's probably the ignition module, even though it's brand new. But it could be the plugs and plug wires. It won't hurt to change them, but it also should just work. Mm -hmm. So all of everything you hooked up works. It's just the engine didn't run. Well, not everything worked, or else well, it would have ran. Huh. The wiring I didn't work was fine. If that makes you feel any better. The wiring worked just fine. Well, that's a good thing. I don't think that fuse popped any. Fuse didn't pop. Hmm. You can carry the jet pack, man. Huh? <sighs> Can't believe that. We had everything hooked up. Still didn't run. Still had no power leading to it. I need this thing to work. Because I would like to for it to work, but at the rate it's going, I don't know if it will work. And this truck ain't worth that much, if you couldn't tell. But to me it is. It's just to other people it ain't. I mean, I look on Marketplace and these trucks are on there all the time for cheap. This one was, I think, $600 from a family friend down the road. All right. Six or $500. I found one on Marketplace. It was a 4x4 with, I think, a blown mower, motor, or engine. Either way, it shouldn't matter. I don't get it. But that's all for today's video, and thank you all for sticking around and watching, and bye.